Hi, a delicate yet urgent topic for today's video, ways to block porn content on the internet. No need to go in detail on why and what for, so let's test software's tools in terms of efficiency, security, compatibility with browsers, as well as tips to prevent bypassing blocked porn at the end. Subscribe to our channel and here we go. Questudio. Questudio is a parental control software that can filter access to the internet. It has a limited free version and full functional 3-day trial, while its annual $55 subscription allows you to install it to 5 devices at the same time. To begin using Questudio, you must create and log into your parent account. Then using the online panel, you will need to create a profile for your uh, children and sync with with the app on their devices. At the end of the installation, Custodio may offer to hide it in the system. For example, in Windows, Custodio will not be visible in the tray and start menu, but its background processes will remain in the task manager. As a family administrator in the web filter section, you can set up blocking of almost 30 categories of websites and add your own entries. There are also additional features such as blocking of unsupported browsers and sending notifications about an attempt to access prohibited web resources. Now let's test the performance of Custodio in different browsers. In Edge, Chrome and Firefox, access to a pornographic site was blocked with this notification. Opera, Brave and Vivaldi were simply blocked from being used as unsupported browsers. Now let's check the relevance of Custodio's filter lists. To do this, I use a Chrome extension with which I will try to open the list of top 100 uh, porn sites in one click. As you can see, only two sites were not blocked. Respectively, the efficiency in this test was 90 8%. Custodio's self-protection module has one vulnerability, its settings are protected with password, but Custodio can be terminated using the task manager. In the last part of the video, I will tell you how you can avoid this and other vulnerabilities typical for such software. 2. Sophos Home Sophos Home is a cloud-based antivirus that protects against various types of threats. One of its components is a web filter that you can use to block pornographic content. As a new user, you will have access to 30-day trial or you can purchase an annual subscription for $45. After sign up, you will need to install the client on your device and log in to it. Click dashboard to open the web-based admin panel here. Go to the web filtering panel and click block next to adult sexuality explicit content. If you need, you can check the records about registered events in the history section. By the way, you can learn more about Sophos Home in our separate review here at this link. Now, let's check its effectiveness. The first test is checking blocking in browsers. Chrome, Edge, Opera, Vivaldi, all six browsers were blocked from accessing inappropriate content, and the photo list actually tests Sophos showed 95% effectiveness as it skipped four sites. Sophos Home has a high level of self-protection and it can't be disabled in basic ways. It does not have a stealth mode, but changing its settings is possible only through the online panel, which can be protected with two-factor authentication. The only vulnerability that I found is the lack of protection against uninstallation using standard system tools, but this can be fixed too. 3. Edguard Edguard is one of the most famous ad blockers due to its extensive filter list and many additional features. It is available for free as an extension for popular browsers, but uh, to effectively block porn content, you will need to download and install a standalone version. To set up uh, porn blocking in Edguard, go to Settings and enable Parental Control. Next, activate Safe Search and Protection with Password to avoid unauthorized access to the settings. Also, make sure that in Users is selected User Profile of your child. Then go to the DNS Protection tab and enable it too. Here, you will need to click on this submenu and select Edguard DNS Family Protection Mode. Also, in the the protection section, 
Also in the protocol section, select the DNS over HTTPS option. Now traffic on RPC will be routed and filtered through AdGuard servers, which will automatically block porn websites. Also, since AdGuard is an ad blocker, it will automatically remove both porn banners and pop-ups on other websites. During the tests, AdGuard blocked traffic in all test browsers. It also showed 98% effectiveness on its filters. You cannot disable or change AdGuard settings without entering a password, but it can be terminated via the task manager. The advantage of AdGuard is in the price as it is the cheapest option offered in this video. A license for only three devices costs only $2.50 per month, while AdGuard is available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android devices. A free 30-day trial is also available for new users. 4. Norton Family Norton Family is a parental control solution by a well-known antivirus vendor. It is available for mobile and desktop platforms and has a 30-day full-featured trial. As usual, to start using it, you need to create accounts for you and your children and sync it with the app on the child's device. For blocking porn content, the web component of protection is used. In the House Rules tab, you can choose your child's age to get a recommended set of rules or customize them manually. Not a family can just record visits to sites with inappropriate content, display warnings about inappropriate content, and full fully block access to it. As in other program, and filter sites by categories of which there are 47. There are also white and black lists of websites and logs of this component work, which is available in the activities section. This effort showed the best level of self-protection as it cannot be uninstalled or terminated without password even by the device administrator. In tests, Norton Family successfully blocked unwanted sites in all browsers. It is also the only one that blocked all 100 test sites with porn content. The main disadvantage of this program is the high price. The subscription for one device will cost you $50 for the first year. It looks more profitable to purchase Norton 360, their comprehensive antivirus for five devices, which also has a parental control component and available for the same price. P.S. How to prevent bypassing port blocking software. Now I'd like to talk about how to prevent the discovered vulnerabilities in the porn blocker software. You can use all the tips or just the ones needed for a particular program. If you have any questions or need tips for other platforms, ask for it in the comments below the video. 1. Create a separate user profile for your child. Create a new local profile child with administrator rights. Then log into it, install your porn blocker software such as Edgard and enable password protection if it's available. With this profile, you can restrict access to various settings of the system, leaving your primary account full functional. Block access to Windows settings. Press Win plus R and run the regetted utility. Then go to this address, HP Current Users Software Microsoft Windows Current Version Policies and create a key uh, there with the explorer name. Then create a Dward32 entry inside this key named no control panel and with value equal to 1. 3. Block software uninstallation. Find your porn block software, uninstall file and its work folder. For example, for Edgard, this will be the executable file called edgard.tools. Using the registry editor, go to the next branch, HK current user software microsoft windows current version policies explorer and create a disallow run entry in the word format with value equal to one then create a key in explorer called disallow run to and open it to disable a certain program create a string entry and name it one inside this write the name of the executable file for example edgar.tools.exe to block more programs, you will need to create entries with the names 2, 3, etc. 4. Prohibit the use of Task Manager To prevent opening the Task Manager, use the steps from the previous tip, but replace the name of the executable file with taskmanager.exe. 5. Deny access to the registry In the registry editor, go to HK Current User Software Microsoft Windows on version policies and create the system key here. Then inside this key, create a Dward32 value, name it 
disable registry tools and set it to 1 to allow access to the registry only through the terminal. If you set 2, it will completely block access to the registry, but I don't recommend it as the rollback of this action is very difficult. 6. Set the limits of the local user. First of all, note that after following these steps, you will not be able to complete the tips from the previous sections of this FAQ. So at the start, log into your main uh, profile with administrator rights. Then press Win plus R and type CMD to open a comment prompt. Then enter the next comment to remove the child profile from the users group. Net local group uses child delete, then enter a comment that will add this profile to the guests group. Net local group guests child add. After that, open the profiles management and revoke the administrative rights from the child's uh, profile. The final step is to add password protection to your account and reboot the PC for the changes to take effect. Conclusion. I think that parents on their own should be able to test applications that would protect their children. Thus, several popular parental control software were not included in this review as they don't provide a trial. As for free solutions, almost all of them, except Cusodio, lack automatic filter updates and have weak self-defense tools which makes them ineffective and vulnerable. Anyway, among the tested programs, Northern Family showed the best result, but it has a high price. Custodio has a lot of additional features and a free version, while Sophos Home will be the perfect solution for those who want to block porn without using parental control software. Well, AdGuard, along with some vulnerabilities, is ideal for those who are looking for a cheaper solution. We didn't want to make it big and long this time, so that's it guys. If you like it or find it helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, bye.